Yes, people, it's Cash, your host, doing the most as per usual, joined by Jay Chez, Ozzy Guna, and Monts. Champions League is finally upon us. Who's holding corn? Who's not? Who's going through? Who's not? You know, it's, it's a lot to discuss with uh, with these two teams. Obviously, Tommy Tuchel, <laughs> can he get past <laughs> Arsenal? I'm not too sure. And then, obviously, Man City go to the Bernabeu with, without key defenders, which is kind of mad. Um, no Walker, no Vardio, no Nathan Ake. Who's stopping Vinny? That's what I want to know, because it ain't going to be John Stones or Ruben Diaz. Maybe Who a Kanji. going to use? It's got to be a Kanji. It has to be a Kanji. I can't is, he back? is he back? He was injured, wasn't yeah, he? I think, yeah, I think, I think a Kanji's back, here. Yeah. Got to be. It's just it depends. I think it all depends on Bernardo Silva if he wants to turn up or not because he like he loves a big game. He loves playing against Real Madrid as well. So I suppose we'll dive all into that. But yeah, everyone smash the like button. Likes are very very important as per usual. I don't know what we want. We're like thirty three likes. So yeah, man, big night Tuesday night. I'm gonna start with Jay. Anyways, Jay, your ops play tonight. In uh, you're on mute. Your ops play tonight against Bayern Munich against your boy Harry Kane. It's gonna mm, be fun, boy. For nope. the artist nope. form, the, art, the artist formerly known as my boy. Um, you know what I mean? Let's 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 be very specific oh. here. Oh. Oh. Anyways, up against your boy. Mm -hmm. Who'll be hostile, man? No Bayern Munich fans. Yeah, um, I mean, like Bayern have been poor this season. Poor. Mm. And it's like you come into this game now, and this is where you've got agenda versus facts. And the facts of the matter is, I can't see a buy and win in any way, shape, or form. There's no, there's nothing I can see here that's giving me hope. Bar an Arsenal, you know, getting stage fright, I, I can't see it. There's nothing in the the sides. There's nothing in the tactical makeup. There's nothing in the duels. There's nothing in the build up. There's nothing in the patterns of play. I got nothing. Do you know what I mean? As in, like, I just, I just, I'm looking at it and I'm just like, unless Bayern put in a performance that they have not put in this season. Exactly. I, I, which, is, which is feasible. You know, you get the heritage, you get the Champions League music. Tuchel gets that notepad out from when he was at Chelsea, blows the cobwebs off it, says, hey, hey, let's run it back. Spirit of Di Matteo, you know? Um it's it's a tricky one for me. I, I'm looking at it, and I, I just I think Arsenal are in a good moment. They're in a good time. They're too big. They're too strong. They're too fast. They're too resilient. I just I, I don't know what Bayern can do to to win this game. I think if they can get one goal behind, a draw, anything somewhat positive, two goals or more, and they've got absolutely no chance. But if they can keep it within a goal, maybe in the second leg they can do something. But I can't see anything but a straightforward Arsenal win tonight. Mm, I don't know, you know, because you know what? Arsenal's Champions League form, whether it was against Porto and all that, I don't think it's been anything of significance. And I can, I can only go off that part, right? And I think, Ozzy, you could even... You're obviously, you're the Arsenal fan. And Bayern are no jokers in the Champions League. That's what I obviously believe. I think when it comes to league form and form in the Champions League, I don't think it's... I think you have to split the two. Arsenal should be up for this. And I do believe that Tuchel won't play some sort of defensive crap. If he plays Eric Dyer on my life, uh, you've won. If I see that man in any sort of shape, way, form on that lineup, I'll be fuming. This is where my anti-Arsenal part comes. I need you lot to lose. Yeah, I need you out. Hey, yeah, hey, I need you hey out. where's the love, man? Where's the love? Come on now. Nah, 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 nah. But, but the thing is, Arsenal might just have too much for, for Bayern. Bayern move the ball very, very slowly. And that's something that you don't do. It's trying. Bayern Munich, uh, that it, their build-up play is trying. It's like they're clutching at straws as they're moving forward. Don't get me wrong. They're a great team. But this season, just like my man said, they're a little bit of a shadow of themselves. Arsenal, on the, on the other hand, um, we move the ball significantly, significantly quicker. We're always moving in the right direction. We're always trying to stretch a team, stretch a team apart. Defenders are having a hard time trying to keep up, um, and it always seems to be an option for Arsenal. The only thing that I can I can really pick on us is that we don't finish our dinner all the time. We create so many chances, and sometimes it's just 
it gets a bit much. And against a team like Bayern Munich, if they step up, you might be kind of a little bit of upset upset with yourself when you've got sitters that come up to Kai Havertz and he might miss one or Jesus miss one. And it could come back to bite us in the rear end if um, Bayern Munich get themselves a you know a dodgy goal. We we leave the Emirates at a one one. But I look at it as the best thing that can happen to Bayern Munich is a draw at the Emirates. A win, I don't see it. I don't see Arsenal losing at the Emirates. Um, not with the way we're playing at the moment. In the league, it's just beyond. If we take control of a game, it's not if we're going to win, it's by how much. You know what I mean? It's not, oh, is yeah. it going to be? No, no, no. It's going to be at least two, maybe three, maybe four. Could be five if we finish our dinner. Um, and with Bayern Munich the way they are, they've got great players. But is Eric Dyer going to be in a centre-back? No, nah, I think Upe Meccano is going to be playing. I think he's available. So you'd have to be crazy not to start him. I'm pretty sure. Upe Meccano available? Am I right? I think so. Upe Meccano, like, Upe Meccano will still get roasted anyways. Yeah, I know. But he's yeah. a better option than Dyer. Eric Dyer straights. Come on now. You know what I mean, bro? Like, I know, yeah, this is the time where if you want to play a Martinelli, this is the game. This is 100% the game, in my opinion. You could play, you could play Martinelli even a Trossard. You could play either one of them and you can give them trouble. Yeah. Either one. Yeah, you know, true. you could play Martinelli off the bench and Martinelli coming off the bench is sometimes nearly as good as Trossard. I, Arsenal have got options at the moment. Sometimes tr bringing on Trossard might be exactly what you need if you want to slow a game down. Solskjaer, oh, you know, the Solskjaer vibes comes in, gets himself a goal and after 10 minutes, thank you very much, wins the game sort of thing, you know? Yeah, yeah. Respect Solskjaer though. Um, but what's it called? No, much respect. I, I just said, I just said. Now, if I see Jesus on the left, I'll be annoyed. Uh, I would actually see a good game. Jesus on the left is just, just non-existent. Um, this is it's just... He's, he's better, better. On, in my opinion, he's better on the right when he's a bit more direct. Ches, I was going to ask this. Can Arsenal afford to only win by one goal tonight? Mm, yeah. Um, the Champions League's not going to be... I'd be surprised if they smoke them, even though Bayern Munich hasn't been that good. I'd be surprised if they smoke them because of the experience Bayern Munich have. Mm. These kind of like stages and stuff like that. So one goal lead, you can, you can just take that, man. You should be ungrateful and get two of a giddy. But um, yeah, man, similar to the Porto game, when I said on the show, I was like, oh, it's not going to be easy. And everyone was saying they got no chance. They're fourth in the league or third in the league. It's the Portuguese league, etc. 41-year-old Pepe. And look what happened. They literally got a win. Both legs. Mm. So it was like, it's, it's, it's going to be that up a notch. Because Bayern Munich have experience and have very, very good players. Similar to like, um, I wasn't going to say Chelsea, but relatively speaking, their players are underperforming where they should be. Because you've got Musiala, you've got Gnabry, you've got Kane, you've got Davis, you've got um, Kim at the back, who's a good centre-back, by the way. He's a cold centre-back. Centre -back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Goretzka, Kimmich. Well, they've got their first team. So on any given day, they can win a game. So I think for people to think, oh, it's going to be easy, I think that's a little bit disingenuous. I think people were just saying that because they look at the league form. On league form, Porto should have got smoked, but they didn't. They didn't get smoked even remotely. In fact, they could have. They could have won it on penalties. Why are we just forgetting this? This is. It. Am I lying, Aussie? Correct me if, if I'm making. No, nah, look, no, no, no. It's not look. Man. Um, uh, Porto, Porto's Porto style of play Porto drew us tough. upon them, and and we 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 fell into that's they they sat back and but that's them. We played their kind of game, and they were like, "Watch this, we're going to make it happen." Um, you know it is, Bayern Munich, Bayern Munich, but Bayern Munich. I don't, uh, I don't look, think they, they, I don't think Porto sat back in Emirates though. They, I watched they, the full game. I, no, they, I they. Know, they I, don't think, I, I don't get this they, narrative. They flipping did. They, they part more. Nah, that, that, nah, don't nah, that, nah, don't nah, give yeah. me this. Don't give me this. I don't think they did. They did sit back, but you know what? Good for them. That's their style of play. They're very defensive. Hit on the counter, and they they, I, they can I, catch I, you I, out. They can catch you out. They're a good team. I personally think watching both games, I think the first game, they definitely sat back a lot more because they had the lead at home. Only at the end, they went for it. Only at the end, I remember they went for it and they got the goal. Um, mm -hmm. But I think in the second leg, it was more like the point. they knew they couldn't just sit back. And my issue is, forgetting Porto for a second, Arsenal knew the way they were going to play but couldn't break them down. So well, I know we're saying... That. But any any team any yeah. team that sits back and puts puts say ten men or nine men behind the ball, it's going to be hard to break down not, in any I'm game. Not, doesn't matter I'm who. Not, it is. And I'm not being no, I'm not being funny here. Yeah. I see the no, possession stats forty five percent. People need to understand what possession actually is in a whole of a football game. It could mean in different thirds of the areas, whether yeah. it's in the midfield or in one area or the other area. You could have possession for the last five to ten minutes, and that will go to the overall part. So if you break and start playing and you start defending, all of a sudden your possession will look like 
it, you haven't dominated the game at all. So all you got to do is watch the game with your eyes. The, they flip him part a mountain pretty much for most of the game because they were trying to defend the 1-0 lead. That's, I don't, I, I can't lie, Aussie. I, can't, I don't think Arsenal can afford to have only one goal to her tonight. I think the well, burnout, I think burnout, I think you've lost. I'm going to be honest. I think you've lost, but if it's one goal, that's why I say one goal isn't enough in my opinion. But tonight, I do think there's a lot to get at with Bayern and considering if you go look at their previous results, I'll tell you what, they considered what they considered one against Mines, right? This is the last four results. They conceded two against Darmats away from home. They conceded two against Dortmund at home and then obviously away from home again, Heidenheim. They conceded three only just recently. There's a lot to get at with this, this Bayern team. They don't even play Kimmich in the midfield recently. They play Lima, Goretzka, Muller. Yeah, they play him at the back. So when it comes to yeah. dictating that midfield, that's a robust three. If anything, you know who would, who I think would be perfect tonight? Not Jorginho, Thomas Party. Party, this is where you would. I think and either all of them will be very valuable, especially if you go 2 no up. Maybe both of them could even play. How about that? No, I don't I like Jorginho. I don't like, I don't Jorginho, like would, Jorginho I don't would be good in this game. I can't go past what you just said before. And Kaz is telling me, oh, they sat back, bro. Other than that individual moment of brilliance by Odegaard, I didn't see Arsenal scoring in that game. No mm. one saw it happening. Why are we sitting here acting like they created bare chances? Porto sat back, they were penned in. It was gung ho, you know, clearing the ball. It wasn't like that at all. It wasn't yeah, like that at all. No, yeah, no, but, no, but, no, but, no, but no, combine, no, but combine, yeah. combine, combine, and defend like Porto. Bayern don't play the no, same kind of hey, game like Porto. Point, They're that's open. Any point. team that comes against Arsenal that's open that wants to play football has a hard time, and mm. that's a fact. Because no, when, that, that when the game opens but, up... But the, the thing is, we're saying... See, here's the thing. We're saying this in hindsight. Before the Porto games, what was everyone telling me on this very stream? I was, oh, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was telling you that Arsenal lost to Sporting last year and they need to be careful. No, we that's said what, this. That's, that's what I was saying. You, you were saying, oh, and everyone was telling me, yeah, but they're going to smoke them, let's be real. And I was like, are you, are you got an agenda, Chess? Look what happened. They really lost. So I what didn't, I'm saying I, is... I'm hearing I'm a lot saying of the we're gonna same smoke. thing. Everyone's telling me, oh, it's going to be calm. Like, buy him because you look. Oh, you got Kimmich, Musiala, Gnabry, Kane. It doesn't take a lot for these guys to score a goal, you know? I mean, yeah, Arsenal, yeah, I mean, Arsenal I mean, last 17 games. But Arsenal at the moment, the Arsenal at the moment are scoring goals for fun. The only reason we're top of the league right now is why? Is why? Because of goal difference. That's mm. why. So we're going to talk about goals. These that. guys these guys are having trouble in the league at the moment. We're not. Yeah, it's mm. not. We're not, and when teams come against Arsenal that open up and want to play football, it becomes a good game. But if you can't handle if you can't handle the pressure and you can't handle getting pressed, well then eventually you get stuck in your own third. I mean, Mons, you know I'm what happened in Liverpool. You know what I mean, bro? And that's Liverpool. Shot. Ain't no walk in the park with Liverpool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, what are you saying, Mons? Man? Are you about from, a, from an attacking standpoint for us or or yeah, from attacking play. standpoint, from you guys, if I can, if I can keep Liverpool fucking quiet, that's not easy to keep that team quiet. To keep mm. Liverpool quiet, that's not easy. That's hard. There ain't no walk in the park, and we kept them quiet. Yeah, I, I just, I, I just don't. The way I look at it is, I, you, I'm not gonna, I can't lie, I'm not judging a Porto to play the same way for the buy-in. Like Bayern Munich are much much better than Porto, don't get me wrong. But everyone struggles against Porto. Like, go look mm -hmm. at them last season. Look at them last season. Go look how dead the game is between them and Inter Milan. Inter Milan were a good attacking I, I team. Don't, I, don't, I don't struggle against them, guys. No, 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 no. I can't lie. When it comes to you and Portuguese teams, long day, innit? But same when with it comes same to Chelsea, you don't struggle against Porto. Ben Brother, do I give a crap? Is your is your club? I don't care about Chelsea. I'm don't not be talking to me like your club is doing bit. Calm down, Chelsea, man. Bro. No, calm down, calm down, calm down. Chelsea, man. Allow it. Anyways, the whole point is, please, proper, a real, real heritage in the Champions League, you know, not not one that got a dusty little run and luckily got a flipping Champions League win. Anyways. Hold on a minute. I say you've only won three Champions Leagues. Hold on a minute. Lucky. More, more Hold than on a minute. Now, come on. Come on. That Lucky's, you know, Lucky's one time. Uh, I, I'm going to go in the come game on, now. Lucky's, Lucky's maybe one, you'll about? get lucky. Oh, oh, when, you, when you got, you when got, when you got <laughs> one, two, oh, there's like, been yeah. a couple there. I'm just going to. When you're play, when you're playing, yeah, a Singwa, and and then Mandaya yeah, and who was it called Bertrand in a Champions League final, you do not deserve to win. Anyways, we move. You're right. Isn't that, right. Isn't that more reason to, to to like compliment? Like, Praise them. The opposite. Especially yeah. especially because you know they went in with shit it's, and came out. Because of the Robert. Because of the Robert. It's Bayern Munich away, by the way. Prime Bayern Munich. 
I can't lie, yeah. I can't lie. Chelsea, you know how underrated they that Tommy Tuchel run was. Their defending was Rudiger was on four goals or Champions League. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I rate I rate that one to be fair. I do rate that one. People don't want to talk about that one. That that was a good run, but it's not even about them. Let me just flip it back to the Arsenal part. Anyways, I, I'm just hating on Chelsea. Don't worry. Um, and I'll admit it's just Ches like Ches won't admit hating on um on Arsenal. The future quotes, the one huh? quotes where he said he can feel the electricity in the Arsenal the benchmark. Who said that? What? He can feel the electricity in the Arsenal. Uh, yeah, well, I, I know why why he feels electricity because he, he's he's on the electric chair. He's sacked. <laughs> and and, uh, and, and he said, he said, he said, he said, he said they are the benchmark. Now, that's a, is, that, is, that mock, is that a mockery? Is he trying to is he trying to disrespect them on like you know them slide digs? No, I, listen, I, I don't know that it's quotes in it. I haven't heard him say it, so it's quotes in it. But obviously, when you're looking at Arsenal's form and and you're looking at league form, I think you have to kind of separate league form slightly when it comes to the Champions League because you've seen so many teams not be their greatest and go and win it or go and reach a final. Or you know, simply because it's a, it's even though the Champions League for me is the biggest trophy you can win in football, it's still a cup. It's still knockout football. Therefore, what you need to do is turn up and be the better team on the day, regardless of your league form. I've seen I've seen those bums in blue finish sixth and win it. Like you know what I'm saying? I've seen them man do the madness. Like it just yeah. it, it don't make sense to me. You know what I'm saying? Heritage, so, heritage, it, heritage. Yeah, even even Liverpool, we were fighting for fourth. And we lost to Real Madrid in the final in like in seventeen eighteen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like, you know we weren't, we weren't challenging for no title. I, I've got you know something. So, yeah, I've got something for you guys. I'm just saying respect. I'm just for me. I think Arsenal are far better than Bayern Munich at the moment. But I think we should still respect what Bayern is still about in it. Like they're not scrubs in it. No, no, no. They're not scrubs. They're no one is saying they're scrubs. No one is yeah. saying they're scrubs. Thing that, is, you that's could, no that's way. Team. You can respect the team, but it doesn't mean yeah. you have to fear them. Oh, by the way, guys, we're like exactly. four likes off comment. of, we're four likes off of a hundred. So please just, if you're hearing my voice, come on, there's 400 of you in a building, not even 20 minutes in. Please smash the like button on the voice and it will be very much respected like we have to respect Bayern. I can't wait for the game. I'm going to have both games on two two screens anyways. So uh, NLF, Porto were the best defence in the Champions League from us, to be fair. With Bayern, they concede way too many chances and I believe in our ability to limit them too. That's very true. I do wonder how Thomas Tuchel will set up against you lot. I think it's kind of obvious at this point. Also, if we go off the last three results, Bayern Munich have been knocked out in the quarterfinals in the last three years. And I know Arsenal haven't been in a Champions League to have that yeah. sort of kind of part, but they have gone out. They ha Wait, even... Man. Experience. Uh, Sorry, I've got, I've got, I've got the, I've, I've something. Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's just like they got off in the quarterfinals. They actually had a really good run last year. They lost, they draw one and they lost one. That was obviously to when they did um they smashed the group stages, lost the city. Um in the quarterfinals, obviously, they obviously lost only once, and then obviously quarterfinals only lost once. Typically, they do draw in one leg and they do lose in the other leg. That's what the last three years have told us. So if that isn't any sort of confidance for any sort of for any Arsenal fans. There's your confidence for the way you are playing at this moment of time. What are you saying, Mons? Um, two things. Go on. If you draw nil-nil. Go on. Is that going to spun into a good defensive performance? Or is, how is that going to be? Say that again. Say that again. If Arsenal you know, and Bayern Munich... You know, hey, hey, Ches, you know, Ches, you know where I'm going with this. If you guys draw... Nil-nil. No, is it going to be spun into a good defensive performance or is it going to be seen as not good enough because you have to go No to one's going to spin. No one, Anyone is going to sit there and spin it left or spin it right. You've got to call a spade a spade. You watch the game and you see what the build-up play was like. If we can't finish our dinner, of course we're going to sit down and, and we're going to talk about uh, the lack of quality up front and yada, yada, yada. I ain't no spin here, bro. I don't okay, spin no, nothing. No, 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 I mean, bro. Hey, 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 Some hey, of the hey, fan base hey, might hey. try and spin positives. Me, I call a spade a spade. If my team hey. ain't performing, I'll be the one saying, you know what? Blah blah blah. Hey, I'm just, hey, I'm just, I'm just saying, no, no, it's obviously because like, no, it, remember, wait, it, it, remember, it, it, listen, I'm just saying, like the energy before the game is clearly that you know Arsenal are superior, and I agree with that. So like, if there is a nil nil, like, or if it's nil nil, it might is is it going to be seen as a loss? In my opinion, would you guys see it as a loss if you guys don't finish it? Nil nil is a bad result for no, us. I don't say it as a loss. Yeah, I say you go back, you go back, yeah, in, and you go it. again. 
Is it nil nil a bad result for Arsenal? That's the yeah. question. Is it nil nil a bad result? No, that's it's, it's a horrible. It's, result. It's, it's, it's not a horrible result because of the absence of away goals. So mm. it's a it's a bad result. No, it's a horrible it's not a result. horrible result because away yeah. goals don't count it's anymore. They could go they could go to Germany and win. And it's a good comment. Then yeah. it's a good comment. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm how is that not a horrible result? You got no way horrible, because man. because Arsenal yeah, are very home. capable. Arsenal are very capable of beating Bayern Munich in Germany. Yeah? Are they? I'm not oh, saying yeah, that's the level of JJ. I'm, that's no, no, no. The point what I'm saying I'm not saying they will. I'm saying they are capable. From me, seeing no, but that's Bayern not the point. He said. he said, "Is it a yeah. horrible result to draw at home?" It, no, it's not a horrible either. result. It's it's not a horrible. How's that not a horrible result, result? It, bro? Because the thing is, is it's a 180 minute tie. So at half time, you're drawing. So it so you're not out the game. So it's not the ideal result. It's not amazing, but it's not horrible. I'm sure yeah, I'm, 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 I'm horrible. Just, horrible like, result is for us to lose lose at home 2-0. That's a horrible result. It's not, no, it's, listen, it's, wait, 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 wait. Arsenal, Arsenal want to win this game. What's changing? But they just I just don't uh, want to lose. I'm just, I'm just saying, Ozzy, Ozzy. You know what I don't like this narrative. We can't talk about these men. You're the you best team in the league, yeah. You're going to smack them, yeah. Bayern Munich aren't that good. They're leaky. We're the best team so in the league. I want to. I want to. Oh, before you say anything, we're one of the best teams in the league. There are three teams right now fighting that. for that title. You understand? And right now, there's fuck all between us. So we're one of the best teams. I just, I just said the that. best team. I wasn't being sarcastic. I was being serious. I'm not being uh, not being patronizing. But anyway, uh, you're one of the best teams in the league. You, you could even win the Premier League. High probability chance, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, they're leaky. They're flopping. The players aren't performing. You're at home. They got no away fans, supposedly. Yeah. Why is drawing at home not a good result? What the hell are we do? Why is drawing at home not a good what, result? What is it? Are you no, good no, no, or not? No, 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 I don't no. get it. No, no, Chess, no, no, Chess. No, 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 what we're trying to say is no, that no, 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 yeah, the context say. in the the context in the result, as in like there's a there's a wide spectrum between good and dog shit. There's a spectrum yeah. there. You see what I mean? There's there's a range of emotions that you've got in between that. It's not those are not the only two emotions you've got. So to me, it's it's not an ideal result. Average. One could even say bad, but to say to me, horrible and bad are not the same words. So therefore, a relatively bad result and a horrible result are not the same. So it's very simple to say that it's not ideal, potentially even bad, but clearly not horrible. That's all right. English language. Oh, so, so, so I flipped it. So I'm gonna flip this. If Arsenal was to beat Bayern Munich at the Emirates 3 0. What are people going to say? Oh, you guys beat a weak Bayern Munich. They're out of form. No, and blah, blah, blah. Is that the spin that we're going to get? If, if that happens. Aussie, if, you, um, if you did that, we'll come here next week and see you've got a stronghold into semi final. That's a sick result. Really? If you draw I, I, home, I, I, I reckon, I, 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 I reckon, I reckon Wait, it could flip the other way. They're going to say, this place all out of form. Bayern that's Munich, a great result. Bayern Munich. That's no, no. Yeah. I, you know, it's, yeah. we, I just don't like the double. It's not double standards, but it's like if I sit here and say I'm this good. And another team is that bad, then if I then proceed to draw against them, I can't mm. then be like, well, yeah, you know what, guys, good defensive performance, great stuff. I'm not. Stuff. I'm. Okay. Okay. I, don't here, I don't think anyone here. I don't think anyone here is calling. You're in a very good position to answer that question, aren't you? It's not 100. Like, percent This is what this is what I'm saying. So, like, if if for me, <laughs> if you sit here and go, oh, you know what. Heritage wise, it's not that between Arsenal and Bayern Munich, and regardless of league form, I see this game being very difficult. And then you go and get a, and this it's all about how you, for me as a fan, how you approach it right before the game. And so, obviously, that, that's what I mean. And for me, Ozzy, you haven't disrespected Bayern Munich on a mad team. Uh, so if you come, yeah. if, for me, like a 0 nil, nil result is not a horrible result, in my opinion. I think it's a not a great result because you have to go away to a stadium who, where you haven't had much success over the years with but at the same time you still have that long-standing point of Arsenal being the better team this season the better team on paper and the better manager so you have that quality and you have your quality aspect going for you so I don't know I think it just depends how you how you approach it as a fan cool. before the game like, but let's be honest the general narrative is that Arsenal should be smashing these man and really I don't think that's the case because I think Champions League is, is different to league football yeah. like you know I, and that's, and don't get me wrong. If you don't beat them three, that's a tremendous result. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, that's that's that's, 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 a, that's a bit different. That's a bit different. No, one, I, no one's saying Bayern Munich is Sheffield I'm United. Way, so I way, think we've got to get in, that right. In in right. any this ain't no Sheffield United. In any quarterfinal or semis and stuff, if you draw at home, it's a horrible result, regardless of who your opposition is. Right. That's a I'm fact. Sure. 
you have to get as much home advantage as you can because away from home is a different gravy. Are you Man City to smash them? No. That's the only mm -hmm. team that can go away from home and smash teams. No one else really can. If we, you have to be honest with yourself as Arsenal fans. It's a horrible, mm. horrible result. No, that it ain't over. It ain't over. It ain't if over. It ain't if over. If it's not, you're there. trying to turn it into something that it isn't. If, that, yeah, if we yeah, were yeah. to draw, which you probably no, wouldn't. No, no, no. But if let's say we were to draw, are you saying well, Moles, it's it's a horrible result when Moles are saying we're out of the Champions yeah, League? Is there no chance afterwards? So Bayern Munich, Bayern Munich can't lose at home. Bayern Munich can't lose at home. Bayern Munich can't lose at home. You see. Uh, and Ozzy Guna, also, the reason can why I, I want to say take has finish? to go on, can go on, finish? Can I, I, mean, I go heard on. your takes. I don't give a shit about it now because you think it's not horrible. It goes to show not. the difference in mentality between Mont, yeah, me, you, and Charles, like, the people. Oh. <laughs> 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 boys, boys, listen, the way I'm going to pin you in a second when I make my point is going to be show, iconic. The way, sure. show, the way it goes to show, yeah, that you, sure. man, have been a lack of Champions League okay. yeah, experience, yeah. it goes okay. on show. Everyone knows okay. the, the Bro, we made Champions League final more recently than you. you didn't and win it, man. Can I just say, can I just wait. say, hold on, wait, Kaz, wait, let me let wait, me just wait, say wait, wait. let go me on. finish because you've had Bro, your time. Let you've let had your time. Here we go. Everyone knows since the way goal's been gotten, a draw at home to a big team is a shit, shit result. It's a shit result. That's why you want to play away from home first all the time. But, but and then take it back to the home leg. That's how it works. Yeah, that's how you get well play. I don't give a shit if you've been to a Champions League final. Why is a horrible result? It's because if we go off for Arsenal, if we go from Arsenal's away form, even in the group in, in the group stages, and to Porto, they were flipping cheeks. They were cheeks. And the last team you want to go to is probably flipping the Allianz with their crowd, especially if they didn't even get to have an away crowd. Guarantee it's gonna be hostile. But you don't think it's an okay result? Yes, you got a chance, but the I'm chance not saying it's an okay. okay. I'm not saying it's an okay result. I'm not sitting here saying it's wonderful. I'm not going to celebrate a draw, but I'm not going to okay. throw my throw my toys out of the pram and say it's the end of the world. Right, 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 I don't expect you as an Arsenal fan. Right, let me. Can I just make my point quickly? I've been waiting. I've been waiting. I've been waiting to land this point because, Cass, listen, you, you, you're you're going off opinion and not facts. And the reason I'm going to say opinion, months. In 2019, in 2019, when you won the Champions League, yeah, when you played Bayern Munich in the knockout rounds, what were the results in the two games? Tell me now. Um, so we went, we went away to the Allianz of Junior. Um, there was no... No, yeah, no, no, you beat them 3-1 away and you drew it home. No, no, oh, sorry, my bad, sorry. We drew, we, no, but we drew at Anfield and that was seen as a bad result. That was seen as a... Well, it was seen as an iffy result. We had to iffy be... Yeah, 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 we we had we had Fabinho playing centre back that day. Shut up the and we right? was not sure. We was not sure. By the way, this is again, this is a different Bayern Munich. By the way, it's a different Bayern Munich. So it's a better Bayern, Bayern Munich. So the Bayern, Bayern Munich, Munich, the, the Bayern Munich, Munich. Munich you, no, no, the Bayern Munich that you drew at home with and then went to beat three one away on route to winning the Champions League yeah. is a better Bayern Munich than the Bayern like, Munich that Arsenal faces, and it's a testament yeah. to the fact that you can draw the first game in a knockout tie and still go away and win that tie and go on to win the Champions League and it is not that detrimental. I rest but, my but, case. What, what, what I say, but Jay, what I say is that I think that was the very first time Bayern Munich had lost in the Aliads for a very, very, very long and this, time. And this season, like, look at them. One, that was the best, I think that's probably the best that's... Liverpool team in, a, in years as well. Like, mm. we should, I, I, even as good as Liverpool were, do you think I was rocking up to, to the alley? No, I, I think you were shocked. I, I don't think you I was, knew you I were was going through. Bricks. I was yeah, I, you know, know. I thought nil nil at Anfield. We didn't even pose that much of a threat at our own stadium at Anfield in the Champions League. Going to the alley at where they, these guys don't lose. I was shitting bricks. I was that's shitting. What, bricks. And, that, and that's what I'm trying to say. As in, like people, it's not a it's not a horrible result. It is a result where you are still in the tie. It's not can ideal. I, I it's not horrible. As you come that's, to that's clear. Yeah, please. I'll, I'll, I'll just. Yeah, yeah, I just want to say this. Yeah. 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 Listen, Jay. No, you can't. You just... can't say anything to me. I've no, just no, proven the point. Just, that let me land my point, man. You're getting tripped already. Let him say his thing, bro. Let him. Let him make a point. You know, is you never put a Tottenham fan. Would be this passionate about Arsenal, but go on. Oh, I've got the same thing as well. Also, all due disrespect, you never won the Champions League. You're only telling us what's that got to do? What's that? What's that? What's no, that got to what do? do you mean, shit? Wait, let me tell you why because you're nibbling too early. 
The reason why I'm mad at that. What has winning the Champions League got to do with knockout games in the Champions League? We've won yeah, enough well, of those for me to have everything in the I mean, everything. It means <laughs> every, do you know what I mean to think? Because when I won the Champions League twice, by the way. What does winning the Champions League have to do with oh knockout games day, in the Champions this League? Guy, this guy, he's jumping in. <sighs> winning the Champions League twice means a lot. And it enables me to read the game properly. You know why? Because the way we did it is the way it should be done. Where you win your games at home, you don't lose away. It's actually that simple. It's actually that simple. If you do that, you get through to the final. If Arsenal beat Bayern Munich 2 0 and they draw 1 1, who goes okay. through? Right. Who goes through? Okay. Okay. So, bro, so listen. What I'm just listen. trying to tell you, Jay, what I'm trying to tell you is if you don't win your game at home with no away fans, you got the best attack, the best defense. Saka's doing bits in the Champions League. All of this stuff, which is true, Aussie Goon, no agendas, all facts. I'm not lying. Okay, Bayern Munich are leaky. They're flopping the league. Why is not winning at home okay. and lowering okay. your chances of beating them in the Allianz, okay. where they've got nothing mm-hmm. to play for anymore? Obviously, it's a design effect. We want to win at home. Chess, can I? Can I just make one more point? Guys, hypothetical shit. But anyway. Oh, so, but, but what I'm saying, well, Chess, is like, listen, your point, your, 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 your point is... No, because we're talking is, about, let's, no, if, Arsenal draw, if Arsenal draw, if Arsenal sense. draw, if Arsenal draw, if Arsenal draw, if Arsenal draw. It's got nothing to do with anything. Tottenham also, lost to Ajax in the first leg and went to uh, Ajax and beat them and made the Champions League final. Me not winning the Champions League is fucking irrelevant hey, to this Arsenal point. Arsenal fans yeah? are agreeing with me. You have to win at home. Bro, I don't give a shit, they're agreeing with you. Like, I'm trying to, I'm just, I'm just literally telling you, yeah, it is not irredeemable to drop points or not no one win said it's not. We're lowering your charges quite a lot, Jay. That's the problem. Of course. No, no, no. That, that I agree that's with. No, I agree with that. Yeah, I agree with that. You're lowering your chances. But what I was trying to say, just like my man is trying to say, it isn't over. So, yes, it wouldn't be desired. I never said it's over. I never said it's over. I never said it's over. No one said it's We're not going to be I happy with it. I'm only joking for joining saying it's wonderful. It's, sem- it's word semantic. Bad. Horrible. It's semantics. Nobody yeah. is saying it's good. There's not one person who said drawing at home is a good result. Nobody said that. Yeah, it's but the I, semantics I know it's of the word between bad and horrible. Yeah, no one's going to celebrate it. Over to you. Did I say it was over? Did, Did anyone out? say it was over? No, but the, when, you're, when you're using words like horrible and yada, yada, it's, it's as horrible. if you're saying, okay, if Arsenal were to lose at, at home, what would that be as a result? Disgusting. Aussie, do have two things to go with. So there's disgusting, there's horrible, Aussie, so we've got Aussie, like... Aussie. Okay. Two, fists, two things can coexist at the same time. You can have a horrible result and still go through. Like, it, okay, what's, lo- what's losing one nil at home, Chess? What's one what say what's... one nil was not a horrible result at home, but oh, if was one... <laughs> I'm going home. <laughs> All right, boys. Wait, winning what? Wait, do you say winning or losing one nil? Winning one nil. If if we lose, if we like, you, I was trying to say, you, you're saying to me, if we draw, it's a horrible result. I'm saying so. If we lose, oh, if we lose, it's kind of a disgrace. Sell the Emirates yeah. if you lose. Uh, you know what? You know what this is, yeah, months. You know what this is. I've noticed this, and obviously I let it bypass a little bit. Arsenal fans in the comments, you're convincing yourselves that it's an okay result to draw at home in the Champions League right now. We're not yeah. throwing. The, we're not going to throw our toys out of the pram. We're not going to react like crazy. No, if it comes down to it, it means we can't cook you. Trust me, if I tell you, you draw today against this sort of Bayern Munich side, you're getting cooked. So okay. don't do that because you know Let's what? Let's see it happen. Because anybody right. else, they're getting roasted as well. Mm. Spit time roasted. To play, yeah. Yeah. Time to play yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. Let's it's... time to play devil's advocate. Um, what happened to the heritage heritage argument that everyone loves to throw? That's look, n- look now. That's so is, experience is in the Champions League is a big deal. So I'm saying, so is a nil nil result based on Arsenal? Because based on heritage, a nil nil result is fine. Not fine. Okay, not fine. But it's not as bad. It's not a horrible result. It's, a, it's an iffy result based on heritage. Exactly. Like on heritage, how the hell are you going to the? How the hell are you going to the Allianz? And I'm going to the Allianz, and the way I'm thinking is, at the moment, Bayern Munich isn't in the best of form. So they've got their heritage, but they're not in the best of form. I'm in really good form, and I had a bad game at home. Yeah, but it's the same way. He's in really good form. Balance. Weakness here, strength there. Weakness here, strength there. Fair heritage, enough. Heritage is heritage, right? But it was the same thing with Porto. You went into the Porto game in really good form, and you flopped at their gaff. Right. You played yeah. horrible, and then when it came to your home game, Porto played a different kind of game. Every team that every team that's defended right. against Arsenal, we've had a hard time. We've had a hard time. That's what matters. We've had a hard time. So is it? We've had a hard time against defensive teams. Teams that are defensive, we have a hard time, and that's what so well. It's how Champions League is. If you face Inter Milan in the final, they're going to do the same thing. Ten times worse. I'm okay, yeah, but this is like Inter Milan, and this, and this Bayern, Inter and Bayern Milan Munich are not going to sit there like Porto. 
it just happened. Like, like, like Porto? Wait, Bayern Munich play like Porto. Bayern Munich are going to play like Porto? One sec, one sec. Have, have anyone witnessed Tommy Tuchel, how he sets up, by the way? Please, please have you seen how crappy defensive is and still leaks goals? Yeah, he has, a double, he, has, he has a double pivot. He has a double, yeah, but... a double pivot and it's still bad. It's still a, year, bad. A, year, a, a year is a, year's a long time though, Cass, because a year ago, we were t- Bayern were sacking Nagelsmann to bring in Tuchel to try and get them the treble. Do you know what I mean? So it's like a year's a long time in football. Like Tuchel, can he run it back? Has he got something tactically for Arsenal? I, I think Arsenal, like everyone say, they should take advantage. But I still do think balance of averages, if Arsenal play to their best and Bayern play to their best over a 90-minute period, I think Arsenal should do it. Yeah? Should, and, on paper, yeah. On paper, yeah, right? on paper. And my point is, is that essentially going into the game thinking win this game draw this game blah blah that gives you two opportunities to do them over a 90 minute period of time that's my logic is that if they don't do them this game it makes it more difficult for them to beat them in germany but once again the criteria remains them at their best arsenal at their best arsenal should do them so again if they don't do them this time they'll do them next time is the logic because i'm asking you when's the last time you saw arteta flop two games like that in a row. All right, let me tell you then. When was the last time you was convinced by Arsenal away from home in the Champions League this season? Oh, I mean... Uh, Go on, do it. I thought, I, thought, I thought they were pretty... I thought they were pretty, I thought they were pretty solid against Sporting. That's a good point. That's a good point. I thought, but... they, were, I thought they were solid. Enough. Against who? Against who? We weren't... We weren't... Against, against Sporting, I thought you were all, no, were this, all right. This, this season? Yeah, I thought they were all right against Sporting. I thought they, they were shitting against And they lose. Oh, what? They in lost, the yeah, they lost. They lost that game, bro. They lost the game, but I thought the general performance was all right. But like, as guess in, like, what other game they lost? Guess what other game they lost? Porto. Guess what other game they lost? Lons. Yeah. Isn't it, Jay? Is your trend here? Is your trend? So when yeah. when people yeah, tell me the gender, I'm the one that told you about yeah, this trend, bro. bro. So we so again. So it, this is why I say it depends on the general consensus of the fan base approaching the game. Like we're sitting here saying Arsenal's away record in the Champions League is shit, which it is, and and also. This is this is the one time we've spoken about Champions League this season and not mentioned heritage. Because if we're looking if we're looking at heritage, any result but a loss in a way is an okay result for Arsenal based solely based on heritage. Oh, yeah, I'm just doing that. All right, Arsenal have done well to get the quarterfinals, then any regardless of the result, then if we're doing that. But I think Arsenal no, no, because, have... Porto, no, because Porto because because bro, because Porto aren't Porto's they're heritage dickheads. is, 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 is they're they're not, they're not mugs in it, yeah, they're yeah, not yeah. mugs in this Champions League thing, in it, but they haven't got bare heritage, but they're not mugs. So I'm not I'm not saying oh give Arsenal the benefit of that. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just thinking that this is this is a conversation where we're for Arsenal's sake right now, we're only talking about on paper quality and not talking about heritage, which is not something we usually do when we talk about the Champions League. So are we discounting heritage just because it's Arsenal and we think they're that good? Which one is it? Yeah, yeah. No, I, not, 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 is. Like, no one here on this panel has said or thought that Arsenal what? are losing. We're just saying that a yeah, certain type of result yeah. is a bad result. That's it. Mm. Because of, or because of the fact, once, once because of the fact of what their way record is like in the Champions League this season. That's why. That's what, what I'm saying. saying is I expect Arsenal to win. So this agenda's not coming from the fact I think they'll lose. I, I think, think they'll win the home game. I think they'll win today. Maybe if I'm giving what's going on, 2-0 or 3-1, right? I think Ozzy, yeah. Don't be shocked if today ends 2 2 in it. Don't be shocked if today. That's what I said, Mont. That's what I'm saying. I expect them to win 2 0, 3 1, 2 goal lead, whatever. Yeah? But I wouldn't be shocked if it's 2 2 or 1 1 or 0 0. The reason why that's a bad result is because the mere fact we're all sitting there saying they're favourites to go through. So favourites means they either win both games or one game. So yeah. my point is if you don't win this game, now we're relying on one game away from home with a team who has nothing to play for other than the Champions League. So go there and win, in which your away record is whack. Facts. Oh, yeah. Can we add one more factor? Can we add one more factor? I'm literally seeing it in the chat. I'm seeing it in the chat right now. I've given you guys the benefit of the doubt of the heritage argument. Now I'm seeing, yeah, no, I don't see us conceding two goals. They have Kane, Luciana, Sane. They have, they have guys. Can, like, look at the attack thing. they have. I understand. Yeah, um, but you're thinking one thing. Guess who's up front for them? And that's going to be another motivation for me. This is why I don't see them conceding. It's Harry Kane, bro. He loves scoring against Arsenal. Don't get me wrong yet, but... That's, That's more the one. incentive for Arsenal fans to be hostile and for the centre-backs to be aggressive with him. Something you don't really like. 
That's what I think anyways. Yeah, but the thing is, is what you guys saying the result's going to be, though. Like, obviously, it's, it's all good to hypothetically, like, for me personally, I'm like, okay, I, I think Arsenal are the better side in this current state of form. And obviously, like Mons is saying, like, European heritage is European heritage. And that isn't necessarily like, oh, it, it's about understanding the emotions of these games, understanding how to control yourself, understanding big, big game picture. Um, Bayern have got an experienced coach in these kind of scenarios. They've got experienced players in these kind of scenarios. So you can make an argument that club form goes out the window. But then this is why you, if Arsenal fans want to be, Arsenal team wants to be rated and people want people to rate this Arsenal team accordingly, these are the, these are the games you want to overcome. And losing, mm. to a, losing to an objectively bad buy-in side would be would be a bad result for Arsenal over the t the course of these games. Arsenal need to take a leap in mentality and competency at a European level in this tie. And I don't think anyone should be accepting that Arsenal lose this tie, really. Arsenal mm. are the favourites for this tie, given yeah. the state of play of both teams. And they should, to me, they should accept the fact that they're favourites. They should own that and they should be like, we're going through in this tie. If they don't, okay, we can deal with it afterwards. But they should be... They should embrace the expectation for me. You know, no, this, is, this is the time that they should what, embrace. So, what are like? What are your predictions in this game? I'd love to. I'd love to know oh, everyone's predictions because my I, predictions I, are two one here. I think Bayern will score a goal. It'll be Jamie I, goal, but I think they'll score one. I think. I think. I think Arsenal win two 0 I think it's going to be a relatively dominant Another game. Clean sheet. I reckon Arsenal because I believe they're going to go with Lyon, Mark Goretzka, and I do. And um, Musiala is going to go on the wing, and then my uh, Muller is going to be in attacking mid. I actually do believe Arsenal will dominate this game. So they'll, they'll they'll leave Kimmich on the right side. Keep yeah, he's been right playing. Side. The thing is, he's been playing right back, and no, no. Yeah. he's good. Don't get me wrong. No, no, no. But he's better in the midfield. If he gets caught out, it's if you got Martinez, he's getting roasted, man. He ain't. He's getting roasted. I think uh, this is why I think Arsenal control the game, and I think it's gonna throw people off. It's gonna be like, wait, what's Bayern doing? I'm like, they've been getting dominated. Go watch their games. Look at Dortmund. They don't even have the best midfield. Got dominated. Yeah, they're like, yeah. Yeah. So you reckon? You, so you you're thinking two 0 Mons, what are you saying? Is there going to be a tunnel deficit? Um, Let's but, but, but first of all, first of all, wait, what, what did Lee's comment was very, very cheeky. What did he say? What was that? Uh, was that? Lee's comment was very, very uh, cheeky. Never listen to Monts when it comes to Arsenal. Never listen to Don, George or Patrick in general. Football <laughs> so, 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 my, so my reply to that is, if we're talking about the Champions League, I think you should listen to me. I've won six of them and you haven't seen the Champions League in your lifetime in the history of your club. <laughs> so I think you should listen to some of the people on this panel. Chelsea oh. has two, Chelsea has three. So if anything, please... By all means, take notes. That's what I would say. Secondly, um, you predicted a 3-1 win and a dominant win for Arsenal um, against Bayern Munich where they have no fans. If you don't win this game or if you don't win this game comfortably, please do not spin this into a great defensive performance and how great your defence are and then just completely disregard the ramifications of having to go back to the Aliad arena. Uh, 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 I don't get it. And even then, I still think Bayern at the Aliad arena, they've been losing games at home. They've lost games at home in the league. Man United put three past yeah, them. Yeah, I'm not, like, I'm not, yeah. like, I, I just, I just don't want to, I just don't want the spin. I just don't want people to spin the narrative. Like I've seen this before. You can't, you, can't, spin. Look, you can't be mad confident against a team and then draw against them and be like, oh yeah, great defense balls. Like, that's, look, you're going to get fake. You're going like, to get, you're going to get fans that are going to bounce left and bounce right. They're flip flops. I'm going to ask you a question. What's the result? What's going to happen? Way, in this I've, game? Seen, I've seen, I've seen two Champions Leagues in my life. So let's not do that. Don't discount the ones because I ain't seen them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there's, there's many new battles that Arsenal fans ain't seen. Oh, are you, are you, oh, Monts, are you, uh, Monts, are you done? I asked a simple question. What <laughs> is the result going to be? And you're yeah, just what, jumping what, around like there, crazy. Bro. You die, no, you die, no, you die. What, what is it going to be? I had to adjust Q&A. I had to adjust Q&A. You um, you're being mean to oh, him now, mate. Right? You're being I'm mean to him, right? You've got yourself a Premier League title. You've got yourself some Champions League. What's the score? nibble to these donuts. Yeah, I know. I'm feeding. I'm feeding. I'm feeding at home. Well, he's gonna cut. You'll get. You're gonna get another comment now. It's gonna shit you again. Come on. No, it's no. It's just Guna Lee. That's that's just me and Guna Lee's beef in it. Like you know what I'm saying. I'm feeding. I'm feeding the home. I'm feeding the Arsenal. Sorry. So what? What's gonna happen? No, I I think I think I'd say two one Arsenal. Two one Arsenal. I don't think I don't think that's a bad result. Remember, I said a draw is a horrible result. I said a draw is is a it's not a great result. I'm not going to go all the way and say it's a horrid result because I still think Arsenal are better than Bayern Munich at the moment. So it's mm -hmm. not like Bayern Munich are half decent. 
and Arsenal are whack. So we're looking at a 5 1 at the Aliads. All ends up. We're not. It might be, but I, I think 2 1. I think this is, scoring a couple goals against a top team will do them wonders, man. Yeah, yeah bro. Two, bro, two, bro, 2 1 at, is a, for me is a good result. I think 1 1's a. It's not enough, but it's still a good result. It's you not win, enough, you win, but it's submission. Win, but yeah. And then nil, and then and then if you if you lose, yeah, that's bad. Isn't it? Yeah, that's that's. If shit. you lose, then it's like the yeah, fuck. That shit, still that shit. But yeah, I, I, still, I still think, bro. Like, I, I don't expect Arsenal to go and beat Bayern Munich by three, four goals. If you nah, do that, it's a tremendous result. If you, even if you beat them two 0 tremendous, absolutely fantastic result. I still think this game is going to be a little bit closer than than, than people think. Yeah, no, I agree, man. This is it's. Allianz, I just don't think they could be taking it. I don't think Arsenal could be taking this one to penalties. No chance. I don't think we're taking this game lightly regardless of how... Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm not taking this game lightly regardless of their form. Like, I don't think yeah. any player will be taking Bayern Munich lightly. You know what I mean? You can yeah, only look at what you're down. doing right. What I'm only looking at what Arsenal's doing right at the moment, presently, and how we're playing. Not to disregard Bayern Munich, their heritage, or anything like that. But I'm looking at it and just saying, look, this is what we're doing right. This is what they're doing wrong. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah. any Arsenal players are going to go in there and say, watch us walk over Bayern Munich. At the end of the day, this still is Bayern Munich. I, know, I, just, I, mean, so. I just need Arsenal to lose this game. I will support them in the Prem, but in the Champions League, you need to go out. Um, but let's move it on from there. Uh, what's it called? Um, there's a hundred so and like, You're so dirty, and I've been trying to help you. Mm -hmm. what, what, why would I want you winning the Champions League or getting anywhere near? Like, I want you all out. Um, 21 likes, so please smash the like button regardless of what the situation is. So, yeah, do check that fun button. Fun button goes a long way. 500 people, so let's go. Um, I think it's that way. Or is it that way? Two, two bigger giants play, by the way. Oh, yeah. Real Madrid oh, yeah. versus Manchester oh, yeah. City. No Kyle Walker, I'll remind you lot. No Vardy, he's travelling, but he won't play. And no Nathan Ake. So they don't, I don't even think they've got a left-footed player available for one, which might not matter to be fair. And two, who is handling Vinicius Jr.? Wait, Cavadio, he went, he went on the play. He traveled, but the Pep's already said he's yeah. not playing. He won't play. Um, who, okay. Who's stopping? Who's stopping? Don't say Kanji, don't, don't you dare. Who's stopping Vinny Jr., let alone Rodrigo? Is, and let's be honest with ourselves. If we're going to go off form and everything, Man City do not have the best defense. And when it gets pinged to the left, who's in goal? Right, they're durable. Who's in goal? They're not that durable. Edison? So. Uh, yeah, Edison's back. Yeah, he's already confirmed Edison's back. That, that's a positive. That's good for them, though. That's good for them. Uh, what are you thinking, Jay, on this one? Because Real Madrid, again, look, the thing is, if Real Madrid draw this game, it's a horrible result, is it not? Because mm -hmm. Man City's Etihad is Man City's Etihad. <laughs> you, you, you know, how, you know, how, you know how I feel about the English language. Um, yeah, I would say that this is an interesting one for me. And, and, you and I answer the question. Think, you want to answer the question? Is it a horrible result if they draw? Is it a horrible yeah. result? Uh, it, it, I, I, I was, was going to say, yeah. if, 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 if I think Real could go to City, one, if, if Real Madrid win one, it could be the win. greatest result of all time. Um, so, so the. Um, the way I'm looking at it, yeah, it's, you answer the question, yeah. No, no, it's, it's it's a hard one for me to gauge because um because when I look at Madrid City from last season, Madrid are a bit better than they were last season, and City are a bit worse than they were last season. So when I factor that into the consideration of the game, taking into account City missing players, I give Madrid the edge for this first game. I would as well. Um, um it's close, it's tight. Right? I don't think this is no, it. The, the, one, the, one thing I, the one thing I really like about this, this breakdown of, of, of the game is that in Ancelotti, you have one of the last managers who's a little bit more freestyle of freestyle, the players. Yeah. There's, there's, there's more of a structure, but the players are given a bit more freedom in terms of Press the final themselves. movements. Yeah, whereas Pep is every player is coached to the absolute nines, very structured, very rigid, make your run, do your movement. It's it's a very unique clash of styles. And then you also have the quality of player on, on view here because it's very rare that you get somebody with an Ancelotti style of play who's managed to accumulate such high-level players. So the instincts and the decisions those players make in the moment are probably as good decision-making as you're going to get from those types of players. So you, you're seeing an optimum version of what Ancelotti can do versus an optimum version of what Pep can do. Great game. Great game. 
And with that being said, it's probably going to be a draw. But but yeah, I, I give Madrid the slight edge. And yeah, I'm excited for the game based on everything I just said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, yeah, it's, it's difficult because I don't know how they're going to line up if he's going to start Camavinga or not. Um, he would probably start Crows because he's got, a, I, I, honestly, I think he's got a love fest with him. Um, I don't know why he would play him against Man City. I'll be real. Um, but experience is experience. Um, true of many, well, men, well, probably, well, probably, yeah. he'd probably end up putting Camavinga left back. I'd, I'd probably rather see him in the left uh, at DM or something like that or true of many there, but... Many it's one time where there's no Gundogan and you're going to rely maybe on Bernardo Silva to really get you through and, but, uh, and obviously KDB. It would be difficult for, I think, for, for in my honest opinion, for Man City this time around. Haaland's not even exactly in great form, but he'd definitely be up really? for this game. The thing really, is, she's going to be all right. Bro- De Bruyne will be all right. Foden's oh. going to be there. Silva's going to be there. Rodri's there. And, yeah, and a burner bow, but I just think if, if there is a bit of hope, obviously, I'm not being funny. they got that looning guy in goal. He's actually pretty decent. And they got flipping... Mm-hmm. The, I think Militao's back, isn't he? He's been back yeah, for the last time. He's been back. He's been back. He came, been on, he came on last game. Yeah, yeah, he did. So, a bit of a boost for them. Not, not playing that, um, what's it called? Uh, Nacho Fernandez or something like that. Wherever he is. Yeah, Nacho. Yeah, I think, I think, we've just got, I think they've got every right to go into this game looking to win, man. I think Man City, yes, in the league, they picked up form and never mm. lost a lot of games. But I don't know about their defence, man. I saw that Palace game, they were a bit leaky. It even against, a Copen- little against tough. Copenhagen, Copenhagen, leaky def- the defense. Yeah, was a bit leaky. two against them as well. I don't know, man. I feel like the defense has been better the past few years. So, Real Madrid, perfect opportunity to get revenge and win at home because it's important. So, if I think they can get a two goal cushion, they've got a good chance of going through, man. But yeah. defensively, Real Madrid, I don't know about them either because they conceded a few goals the other week. The last game we got kept to clean sheep. I think they exceeded two the other week, one or two before that. So I think this could be an end to end game. Sort of how the Benzema goal. Do you remember that against Man City? That, that, that the, only, yeah, the only thing is, it's like, who's. I think Bellingham will start up top, but is he going to have any effect on a Ruben Diaz? I don't know Johnson. if he'll play up top, though. He will play up top. I think he's he'll play. Been, he's been playing up top. More of a 10. Isn't he going to play like Diaz? Yeah, not, not, this, is the game for, this is a game for, for the guy with the beer belly. You scored a banner on the weekend and the so-called Android. Yeah. Like <laughs> this is a moment where City's backs are against the wall. They're probably good. They're probably going to struggle a little bit due to their absences. And obviously, yeah, we're not going to say, oh yeah, we expect you to go win at the Bernabeu. But City are the treble winners. Yeah. With Haaland, 40 goal this season, Haaland, KDB better than Steven Gerrard. Bernardo Silva loves a big game. Treat these men like what they are. Treat these men like what they are, the treble fucking winners, the holders. And yes, Real Madrid are Real Madrid, yeah? But Real Madrid also haven't been their scintillating best in the league. I think everyone's just been worse than them. Real Madrid, are, like, what, like what Jay said, they're slightly better than what they were. Slightly better. They're improvements. They still have no striker. Of mm-hmm. course, Real Madrid are a brilliant team, but so is City are a brilliant team as well. City yeah, are my, only, my, my, my only thing, Mons, is, you're absolutely right. The only thing that I think they've dramatically improved is... is running off the ball as yeah. in like the energy compared to last season the players that yeah. they had in the middle and stuff now Not they've got like they're more, more balanced, more, they're more balanced. Yeah, they do, exactly they've got better legs they got they yeah. got they got more better running harder running off the ball thing and that's that's a position that I thought City didn't last season they had more energy than then they had more legs and they also didn't start Rudiger in one of the legs as well and I think that mm. came back to hurt them wow. too so you're right but I think there's a couple of things there that maybe asterisks what we're saying. Do you know what I mean? As in like, maybe maybe just being more physical off the ball and being able to track City's runs better is enough to mitigate the gap that there was last season. Yeah. I think Real Madrid are still probably the favourites. Obviously, they're at, home, they're at home and Man City have, um, have absences. But let's not add like City don't pose a threat, in my opinion. I feel like Real, Real Madrid, oh, yeah. Real, Real, I think Real Madrid at the same time, uh, for me, I've looked at their Champions League performances this season. I've gone. I don't know. I've watched both legs at Leipzig. I watched both legs against Leipzig. And Leipzig were better, better over both legs, in my opinion. Um, but again, heritage. They rummaged not to get the job done. You know what I'm saying? Snatch and grab with the with the Brahim Diaz goal. You know what I'm saying? And I just I just feel like with City, 
they have that little bit of heritage now where they can still probably I still think you still I wouldn't be surprised if City can get something out of the game, i.e. a draw or maybe a one no win. Because you still have Rodri, KDB, Bernardo Silva, and Harley. Yes. You have you really have the spine. You have got the spine basically. You've got this, yeah, the I spine is there. Yeah. Obviously, I listen, I'm not discounting not having no back line because that's always an issue. Because for me, Kyle Walker is the mitigation of any world class winger in the Champions League. We've seen it with Neymar, we've seen it with Mbappe, we've seen it with Vinny Jr. Do you know what I'm saying? We, we saw him mitigate most wingbacks just with his sheer pace alone, isn't it? But because he's not there, I understand how it could how it could play out. I think it's a it's a tough one to call. Um, but I don't think yeah. we should write off City. City again. City. Oh, no, no, I'm writing them off. But is it's, got kept, kept, is it good? We just don't know. Are we? Are we going to get? I just, I just don't know who's handling Vinic. Uh, Vinic, Vinic with no left footer at left back. Yeah, I hear it. And with no, and with no, no Carl Walker. I don't know who's handling Rodrigo, and I don't know who's handling Vinny. Because that and that's something that we've seen City get killed with, even just on the weekend. Eze and what's his name? Eze and uh Jordan uh Jordan Ayu, they were running rampant on the wing. We've seen it. So that's why I look yeah. at it thinking it's not about slagging um Man City off or anything. I just don't see how they get anywhere because unless it's free, maybe Haaland because he loves the Champions League and a KDB thing. But even then, they don't have Gundawan this time around, mate. Like, I'm not being funny, he was the difference. They don't have Mares. But what KDB? What, what KDB are we gonna get? Are we gonna get Kevin the bum or Kevin the back shots? Kevin KDB? Nah, that's 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 that's, that's okay. listen. As, as there's no man, City, as there's, no, there's no Man City fan here. Like that's outrageous. That's an out for for a guy that went to the burnabout and scored a screamer that basically helped his side make the final last year. That's yeah. an outrageous comment, Mons. And, well, and I as, just, I just, as, as a KDB fan, I'm sickened. Okay, like, listen. I just whoa. Well, I, I didn't say it's KD bitch. I said I asked him, <laughs> what, K, what K, I said. What KDB are we going to get? Are we going to get the KDB that doesn't show up in big games sometimes? Or are we going to get the KDB that KD back shots KDB, where when the when the ball leaves his foot, you know it's going top corner, regardless of what angle or what foot he's using. Yeah, Which KDB mm. are we going to get? You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's, it's not crazy to say that KDB hasn't been great. This it season. is a bit. It is a bit crazy to say that. Like you, you like you like saying, oh oh the guy the guy didn't. Perform in a Champions League final when someone fractured his eye socket. Oh, I didn't oh, talk about. The guy, I didn't, the guy I didn't had a hamstring. I didn't talk about. Listen, listen. I, I can have a. I can have a. Hold on, hold on. I can have a. Ple I, I can name a plethora of, of moments that KDB hasn't stepped up, and I don't count the Champions League final where he hurt his head. I don't, I don't even blame that. That's crazy. Hurt his head, fractured yeah. eye socket. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. No, no. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not even using that as an example. I'm just saying. I can't even ask the question. What KDB are we going to get? Because I've seen no, two different so KDBs. Can I, can I, can I, can I, hold on, hold on. Has he, has he been that I, much of a flip flop that JJ, you're not going to realise what KDB JJ, you're going to get? I, I've I've seen the KDB that come on against Newcastle and, and spun the game on his head. But I've also seen the KDB that done fuck all for the next five games and couldn't hold it and, and couldn't uh, couldn't retain a starting position because he wasn't playing mm. good enough. Let's, so let's, I'm saying, what KDB are we going to get against the base against the second best team in the world in Real Madrid? That's not that's not hey, that's not hey. mad to say, bro. It is. It's a, it's a bit like the guy. The guy. The guy owes. The guy owes, back, the guy owes no one nothing. Like my, 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 hey, honestly, KDB gets injured. into any after midfield of any team that we have here. Jay, after he scored that, Jay, after he scored that banger, he got injured anyway. Injured well, after. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah bro, bro. Listen, like, listen. I, I'm I'm a KDB guy. Yeah, I'm 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 a KDB guy. Best best Premier League midfielder in the last ten years, without question. But we can discuss that another day. When yeah, you're I saying these things, yeah. As well. when, we, when we're saying these things about KDB and which KDB is going to turn up and this and like his his legacy is beyond reproach in my opinion I think you can you, you know if we want to if we want to start talking about players turning up in big games we've got a lot to say about Henri you know we got we got a lot to say about certain players in other teams I have to say, so, I have sorry to say, Ozzy Guna I'm, I'm sorry I, but, I, but apparently he doesn't score in big games as well I have, yeah. I have the same I have the same energy for Henri I do what? No, I, I, sorry, I, this is this is the sorry. This is what this one. This bud guy coming. Bud guy. I'm objective as apart from with Chelsea, but with most other teams, yeah, I'm objective. So when when I'm when I'm talking about players or Arsenal or City, I can be fair. I know you Take can't be off. fair. Yeah, that's, that's what I can be off. fair. That's do. what I can be. I'm, you guys don't want to listen to me do agenda. You got Monts for that. You got Cas for that. That I'm here to be neutral and fair. That's what I'm wait, saying. Wait, what? <laughs> Yeah, like, oh, <laughs> 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 
What did you say? Oh, no, necessary. You need to say that. <laughs> what? I've got I've got evidence on my pre-uploads. If you will. <laughs> Anyways, let me do these quick. Uh, Crispy Rice says we've been on fire at home. Anything but a win would be disappointing. Thank you. Um, In your opinion. Uh, I said, uh, Aya says, uh, hey Jay, uh, will you be joining us watching the Arsenal play in the Champions League tonight? I, I, I try, you know, it, a few things or two about football. Aya, thank you. I've, I tried to watch you for the fa last five years and I couldn't find any channel that you were on regarding the Champions League. So I will be tuned in because, you know, it, it takes a while sometimes. Like maybe, maybe if I miss it, you might not be back for a while. And so I will be tuned in to appreciate it like uh, you yeah, do, yeah, yeah, considering yeah. it's been half a decade that you were last in it, right? Ooh. And then one more. Uh, Kingsley says, when right? it comes to heritage, Halal Madrid every time. Uh, yeah, man. But yeah, so what do you guys think the score is going to be tonight with Real Madrid then? I'm going to say, can I start off? All right. Off? Oh. 3 1 Madrid. Mm -hmm. and I don't think it's bad for me to say because I said without their fullbacks or whatever, to, I think it's 3 1. Oh and when God. City. I think it's I think, I, think, I think it's a draw, 1-1. One, 2-1 one. One, one Madrid. I can't lie. I if, if, Madrid, if, Madrid, if, Madrid, if Madrid only win 2-1, yeah, they're out. I'm sorry, at the Etihad, they are scored minimum, minimum two, three goals. I think if, if, if Madrid don't win, they probably go out in the next round. Madrid, yeah, yeah. Madrid, yeah, Madrid need a high score. I would say 2-2. Two, two. Two, two, you two, think it's a draw as well? Really good game. It's a really good game. I think both teams will score. I think a very attacking game. Like you said, the free flow and, and uh, systematic yeah. football. Got Harlan on the pitch, got Vini, you got you got Jude, you got Briam. You've got loads of players, man, who could score, man. So mm. appreciate it, man. Has anyone not said a prediction yet? Uh, um... No. Mm -mm. Is that PTSD from Madrid, isn't it? It's getting to him. Uh is your internet I, mucking around once? Is there something wrong with you? I think your internet you know connection's gone to shit. No, no, oh, no, no, he's no, back. Because, no, no, do you know what? Because my instincts are just telling me 3 1 Madrid, like what Cass said, but. I think like, Pep is not. He's going to approach this game differently. You see, that, you see that treble? You see that treble winning? That treble winning? Oh, I just, I, by like, the way, just for context, Real Madrid have had nine days rest, and um, City have only had a, a few. I, I just I can't ignore the way Real Madrid have played. Like, for me, City have been better in the Champions League possibly. than Real Madrid. But Real Madrid are Real Madrid. And City have injuries. So I'm probably going to say 2-1 Madrid. I'll go 2-1 Madrid. Mm. And we will be there. But yeah, guys, make sure you smash the like button and check out these Does guys. That mean the good Does that mean the draw is a good result for City? <laughs> I'm just trying to work out what no, works. But like you guys, you remember, guys are defining this. This, 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 this is a silly, silly team with injuries right now. So, uh, you know what I mean? Two, two, this two, two is a good result for um, City. Yeah, but <laughs> are, you, are you sure, Chess? Are you, are you sure that you're, you're the you're one who thinks otherwise? Well, it's a it's a city team that's got injuries. Listen, it's all pedantics, isn't it? What do you mean, City get a draw? That's an amazing result. What are you on about? Because they're away from home. Result. Why is that amazing? No, 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 because they're away from home. They're away from home. Why is that amazing, though? Is it not just yeah, a good result? Have, have you seen that result? Okay, well, well okay, Cass, well, what, what is winning at, what is, if City drawing oh. is amazing, what is City winning at the Bernabeu then? It's monumental. You, City are no City are at the Bernabeu right now. No, but if City win at the Bernabeu, what kind of result that's is that? Crazy. What word would you use to describe that result? That's an amazing. That's, that's, that's a phenomenal. Result. Amazing. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, We've already what used amazing. We've already used amazing for a draw. No, no, no. So what, 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 Zing. What you about? It's the same thing. If Arsenal went to the Allianz and got a draw and it's the first leg, that's an amazing result to take back. Are you? Are you? Are you nuts? Um, if Madrid, no. if, if we said, remember the first time when you went, not, you didn't speak at all when I said if Madrid draw. Yeah. Is that is that a good result or horrible for them? It's horrible. Go look at the Etihad record. You it's not. You never actually answered the right. question. So, what, 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 I, because I don't, what, you, you I, because I don't know what words mean anymore, Chess. I just don't know I'll what words mean anymore. In the stream, yeah? Just to be yeah. super consistent. If Madrid draw at home against City, yeah. challenging them to, to retain their Champions League, is that a good result? It's an, average, av it's an average result. It's an no, average it's a bad result. result. Because it's an average, 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 average,
I, I, yeah, exactly. it's, 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 it's drawing with Man City, poor period. Like you saw, you so, uh, yeah. for Real Madrid's standard, yes, it is. Drawing is not good enough because if you look at Real Madrid's record at the Etihad or England alone, it's not great at all. It's not looking good. I don't think they've won. Recently, win against the the holders. That's not, it's not good and they haven't lost there in like three, four something years as well. Like at the Etihad, it's crazy. Yeah. Uh, I had to ask Jay, I had to ask you because your Spurs fan nowadays are always busy desperately making these Arsenal Tottenham combined 11s with more six Spurs players in it. Hey, listen, um, I'm, I, I'm, I'm me personally, that's not what I do for fun. But listen, if you if you if you have an hour and you, you've got you know Zinchenko left back, I'm more than open to educate you uh, on a combined go. 11, you know. Mm, but anyways, in a bit, and we'll be back tonight at 11. Mm -hmm.